here we have a Triumph Terrier rear wheel and I didn't build this one the owner built it and brought it here and asked me if I would uh, put the finishing touches to it by truing it and also making sure that the offset was as required which he tells me was if you put a straight edge across the edge of the brake drum you want a drop of an inch down to the edge of the rim so I've done that I've trued it up I've tightened all the spokes so let's have a look at it and first of all I'm set up to look at the uh, radial run out and the whole rotation of this gauge is actually 50 thou okay which is uh, 1.1 of a millimetre so you can see there it's quite with with it being a used rim and a bit of rust there it's quite bumpy where I have to have the dial gauge picking up from but we can see we're pretty much within there's no more really than half a rotation of the clock face so around about half a millimetre of vertical or radial run out let's have a look at the side to side next put that there for a the minute set this up and we'll check the side to side run out see what we've got here we go and we're well within and under half a millimetre side to side so that's nice get that out of the way now I just used to measure up and set the uh, offset just a simple square with a straight edge like this just lay it across the edges of the brake drum like that and then I measured the drop and made sure and adjusted it to an inch by using my vernier gauge between the edge of the straight edge and the edge of the rim so I've got an inch offset there so that's fine and lastly we play some music I always put a bit of coloured tape on the valve hole just as a reference point so I know where I've been, when I've been right round the wheel when I'm adjusting spokes or testing them or whatever. So we got 20 aside on this one. Twenty there all playing pretty much the same note I would say. Now let's try these underneath here. These will play a different note to this side because they're longer but they should all play a similar note to each other let's see there we are that's not bad at all and regarding wheel, uh, wheel building I've done probably done several hundred by now since I started and I'm self-taught and funnily enough the first wheel I Sort of took apart to see if I could rebuild it again was a Tiger Cub wheel and it took me a few goes um, and after doing that one I think my first attempt took me four and a half hours to get horribly wrong and gradually I improved from there but one thing I've learned along the way which might be of interest to some is the spokes adjusting them um, for like, to take up radial or side to side run out or whatever and to sort of set your offset everything it's um, it's quite handy to sort of imagine your spokes as lengths of string and where you've got perhaps a low spot you need to tighten those pieces of string to pull the rim up and vice versa if you've got a high spot slacken those to lower it and of course tighten up or slacken um, whatever you do on one side you do the opposite on the other like, so if I wanted to lower this part of the rim I'd slacken some spokes here and I'd tighten some there if it was a radial run out and this was a high spot first thing I'd want to do I'd probably kind of got a low spot there so I'd slacken some spokes here on both sides and I'd tighten some spokes here on both sides and that would shift the rim over so treat them like lengths of string, mark your valve hole, count the spokes as you work, whether you've got 40 or 36, 
or even 32, whatever, you know that when the valve hole comes round, you've been right round. And obviously, this is a 40 spoke wheel. So if I'm adjusting one side only, I just count to 20. It's all sort of basic common sense, really. I hope I've got some basic common sense anyway. But I just thought I'd share that uh, as it might be of interest. Because I've done quite a few now. And it's one of those things you don't really... I'm not a member of the Guild of Master Craftsmen or anything. But I've built wheels um, for motorbikes which have won races and championships. So I'm quite confident in my work and I am just self-taught and if I can teach myself, I'm not saying everybody can because everybody's good at some things and perhaps not so good at others and uh, I just happen to have found out that I can do this. But for anyone else, perhaps think them having a go or maybe just needs to adjust a little bit of a buckle or kink out their wheel. I won't say go for it because then I'll... I might be held responsible if you get it wrong, but I uh, could always have a go and see what happens, I guess. Anyway, here's another one, ready to go home to its owner and back on his Triumph Terrier.